Hey guys, believe you back with another video. So you guys are probably wondering why you're starting off with your background um, in the front of your camera. So the reason I'm doing this is because I'm doing a complete movie collection video. All my Blu-rays, 4Ks and Steelbooks into one video rather than making separate videos. Because my old, old video was just all my Blu-rays, but I've completely rearranged my Blu-rays into sections. And I'll describe that as I get into the Blu-rays, which are down there, over there and up there. But let's just look at the um, centerpiece of my collection, which is my display of all my movie related goodies. So first of all, um, we have some aluminium bottles from when I got went to go and watch The Last Jedi at view. So we've got Ray, Kylo Ren, or Ben, and then Finn. And then just another Ray one back there. Um, they're really nice. Got those discounted when I went to go and watch The Last Jedi. My Empires. Argo one set box set from HD Zitter. Whiplash, Kimchi DVD, um, sort of limited edition box set. One of my favourite movies of all time as well. Empire, um, limited editions for The Last Jedi. Marvel Encyclopedia, back there. My Bond collection, without Spectre. I need to actually pick up Spectre. But yeah, one of my favourite film series of all time. And then we do have Planet of the Apes poster collection and our Star Wars and other sci-fi soundtracks. The um, Dark Knight Rises cassette um, piece, whatever it's called, um, piece of the reel from the film. Original Star Trilogy on VHS, and then The Lion King. My favourite Blu-ray in my collection, like The Lion King signature collection from Target, which is right there, the only Target logo. I got this in America a few years ago, and absolutely love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful edition. But yeah, guys, at the top of my collection, and we're going get, to get into the Blu-rays, starting off with the sci-fi and fantasy. We'll get into the Blu-rays. Now, the way I organise my steelbooks briefly is that I put the steelbooks out section first, then I put the regular Blu-rays. Um, so this is my sci-fi fantasy sort of section. King Arthur and the Legend of the Sword. Really underrated. Good movie from Guy Ritchie. Children of Men. Fantastic Beats and Where to Find Them. 3D steelbook. Hunger Games. Um, Catching Fire. J part one and still yet to get the Mocking J part two steelbook, so uh, we need to get that one. Um, Hobbit and Unexpected Journey, my movies are kind of underrated, in my opinion. I kind of enjoy them. Desolation of Smog and Battle of Five Armies. Then we do have the Lord of the Rings complete box set, um, a really nice box set that I actually got in a charity shop for two pounds, which is really good. Then we have our alien movies, sort of ghost alien sort of movies, uh, Ghostbusters, the Remake from 2016 wasn't terrible, wasn't great, and then the original, obviously the best of the lot. Looking forward to the new one as well. Independence Day, the uh, original, not the crappy resurgence one. District Nine, Blonde Camp, um, a great movie, his best sci-fi movie in my opinion. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Spielberg at his best, and another film of Spielberg at his best. E.T. the Extraterrestrial with that beautiful uh, shiny slipcover. Ghostbusters One. Again, Men in Black, one of my favourite sci-fi movies. I oh, love it so much. And number three, which is kind of fun. And then we have our Alien movies here. Recently picked this one up, um, Alien, the new 40th anniversary. Oh, no. What am I going on? Yeah, 40th anniversary, sorry. Um, I can't believe how old this movie is, and it looks so amazing. Yeah, um, the 40th anniversary slip cover with loads of cool special features. That's really the main reason I bought it. The Alien Anthology, Alien 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the new ones, Prometheus, with that beautiful slip, one of my favourite slip covers that one is. Alien Covenant, not as nice of a slip cover, but in my opinion, better than Prometheus. And then Target Exclusive Digibook, as you can see, and the Target. Now I'm going to have to core my hand because there's not enough shelf space for me to put my stand on. Next we do have Life, such a terrible movie, just a rip of Alien. Jake the Hall kind of redeemed it, but yeah. Arrival, um, a great, great movie. Then we have our sort of monster, sort of invasion sort of thing. I don't know what this section is, you know, that sort of thing. Dinosaurs, apes, that sort of stuff. Jurassic World, the first Jurassic World on Steelbook. Star Trek Into Darkness, Steelbook. King Kong, 2008 one, I think. The Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Best Buy, Steelbook. L amazing trilogy. As you can see, I've got loads of editions of them. Um, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, got this for HMV for £5. Amazing. The Legacy Collection of all of the old Planet of the Apes movies, um, all of them. Then Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and my favourite, War. Such a good movie, and the soundtrack to this one is really good. 
I'll check into Beyond with that amazing um, Sainsbury slipcover. Sorry about the phone. Matrix trilogy. Elysium. D Chappie. Um, two Blonde Camp films, but in my opinion, I think I already said um, District 9 is the best. Edge of Tomorrow. I used to think that was called Live Die Repeat. Power Rangers. Um, Godzilla. Which, what year is this one from? This is the. I can't remember which year this one's from, 2009, it's the 2009 Godzilla, uh, that should be there. And then here we do have the special pack of Kong, Skull Island and Godzilla, 2014 one. Really looking forward to King. Next we do have Steven Spielberg, Jurassic Park Trilogy. Then Jurassic World, um, really, really impressive movie, my second favourite Jurassic Park movie, or like, Jurassic movie. Scorch Trials. The Death Cure. I need to get the first one on Steelbook. And these three movies are my three favourite movies of this section. Um, yeah, I just love these three so much. Inception, Perfection movie. Um, so love this movie. It's still not one of my favourite Nolans, but it's amazing. The soundtrack of oh, time is just to die for. The Back to the Future trilogy with this lovely sort of slip. I really like that. And then Blade Runner, the final cut. Um, a great, great movie. In my opinion, the first, the new one's better, but still, this one's really good. And the soundtrack by Van Gennis is great. And then our space exploration movies, we have Gravity. Oh, crap. <laughs> 2001 A Space Odyssey. Um, Stanley Kubrick, an absolute classic of a movie. Interstellar, Digibook, and then we just have the regular Blu-ray, which is actually my top 10 movies of all time. Interstellar's, um, I think my third favourite Nolan movie, it's, wow. Martian, yeah, I got them, the Deadpool slip. I find these really fun, and they're really cool. And this is a really good movie, and I love the Deadpool slips, I got a few of the other ones as well. I'm trying to complete the set. Then, finally, First Man, um... Game Chazelle. Um, recently watched this one. I was really, really impressed with it. And then we do have Elstree 1976. Uh, maybe about the, the how the stars was made, but I need to watch it. Yeah, so these are all my stars movies. These kind of have a separate place in my collection because of how much I love them. And I don't own the original trilogy. I own the original trilogy on DVD, but not on Blu-ray because um, I'm waiting for the 4K release. The Force Awakens, my second favorite of the new movies. Rogue One, my favorite of the new movies. Last Jedi, my least favourite the new movies, but I still don't hate it. I just don't like it that much. And Solo on 4K as well. Um, man, this movie was great. Now I do have our DC movies. I'll get into my Marvel movies in another video because I'm going to do a Marvel complete collection in a new video because I've been really hauling up on my Marvel Blu-rays. And I've not actually been putting those in the update videos, the Marvel ones I've been picking up because I want to make it just a huge video of my Marvel collection. So don't say I don't like Marvel. I absolutely love Marvel. I did an Endgame review a few, um, a few days ago. But yeah, just I do own all the mo most, I think, of part three of the MCU movies. But yeah. Watchmen. Uh, don't like this movie, but... I have the steelbook. Um, yeah, it's just really weird. I didn't like it. Um, Batman Begins, my second favourite in Nolan's trilogy. And one of my favourite Nolan movies. The Dark Knight, my favourite Nolan movie. And in my top five of all time, just perfection. The Dark Knight Rises. Sorry if the glare on these steelbooks is really bad. It's because these protective cases, um, they're kind of shiny. I wish they weren't as shiny. And then, start off with the DCU, we have Wonder Woman. I've got to say, obviously, I love The Dark Knight Rises as well. The ending to this movie is perfection. Then we have The Amazing Green Lantern. I don't hate this movie, man. This movie was kind of fun. Now, the DCU, um, obviously Wonder Woman's one of them, but yeah, we do have the start of the DCU, Man of Steel. Man, this movie's great. Zack Snyder's f my favourite Zack Snyder movie, actually. This movie is top quality stuff. Batman vs. You, man. You used to love this movie. Um, I've kind of gone off it, to be honest. It was just a bit of a mess, but yeah. The opening scene of this movie is amazing. Really loved it. The opening scene was the only bit of this movie that I actually loved. And then Suicide Squad. Oh my god, this movie is so bad. Ah, so bad. <laughs> and then we do have our real-life movies. Um, these are like, kind of like movies about stories of things that happen in real life. I really like these sort of movies, sort of thrillers. Sort of thing. Yeah. First one, Captain Phillips. So now I'm gonna have to do this. We have only the brave. 
So if the lighting down here is a bit bad, it's always bad because it's quite low down in my room. Um, Patriots Day. Uh, did I show you? Yeah, Deepwater Horizon. Um, a great movie. What's his name? Peter Berg. Isn't it? Yeah, Peter Berg. I know Mark Wahlberg and Peter Berg are good friends. I think they've done four movies together. This is my second favourite of them. And my favourite, Patriots Day. Man, this movie is so good. I and mean, these slips are so nice as well. Strong Guy, another movie about the Boston bombings. These two movies are really heavily linked. Um, I won't give any spoilers, but I don't know if you guys really know, but yeah, they're such linked movies. Because the strongest about the guy who uh, lost his leg, he's in here. He's in he's in Patriots Day. So if you want to watch Patriots Day, watch Stronger After. Because they're not a sequel, because it's completely different actors. But yeah, I was really surprised by how linked they were. Eye in the Sky, pretty solid movie. And then Captain Phillips. Now we go on to my favourite section, my war section. First of all, we're going to start off with our war movies from a British perspective of the war. It's my only World War One movie, and that is Journey's End. So we get to watch this one. Came out, I think, 2017. Nolan's Dunkirk. Kind of gone off this movie just for the fact that how unrealistic it was, but still an amazing, amazing achievement. And the visuals and the sound is amazing. And then we do have War Horse, Spielberg, an amazing movie. Band of Brothers, my favourite series of all time. Um, bit of a scuffed case, maybe it's actually buying a new case. And in the Pacific, I'm still yet to watch this. We have a little Clint box set of Flags of Our Fathers and Letters from Iwo Jima. Um, Same Private Ryan, Steelbook. Man, it's quite hard. This is hard. Fury, so overrated. I hate this movie to bits. Inglorious Bastards, Tarantino's, that's my first one you're going to see, Tarantino, Unbroken, it was decent, Bridge on the River Kwai, yeah, Fury, I, you guys will probably hate me for me, me for that, seeing that movie's back, because I know loads of people like it, I just never liked it, I don't really know why I own this, because it's not even that good, but Monument for Men, picked up from Townland, now I've got our movies, our World War II from the Jewish, pers Jewish perspective, Son of Saul, my first one, uh, Schindler's List, one of my favorite movies of the time. And The Pianist, also a very, very good movie. Now I do have our Modern Warfare movies. Green Zone. Move this back a bit. Sorry if I keep on moving it back. Um, the Wall, yeah, it was pretty decent. Yep, yeah, um, Known Survivor, Mark Wahlberg, Peter Berg. This is my third favorite of Peter Berg's movies. Yeah, pretty solid movie. American Sniper, one of my favorite Modern War movies. Man, this movie is so good. Clint Eastwood at his best. Sonny Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. Oh my god, this movie is it's probably my favourite one movie. Mine. Zero Dark Thirty. The Hurt Locker. Um, this movie is really good, but some elements of it I don't agree with. Um, that's just the sole reason why I don't love it. But I still think it's a good, well made movie. Man Down, pretty sure this movie made like $15,000 in the box office. Man, that's so bad, but I really want to watch it. Gary Oldman, Sheila B, apparently he's pretty good in it. Rescue Dawn with Christian Bell, I bet man. And then Black Hawk Down. Um, I'm not actually watched this one. I've heard some mixed things about it from um, people who were actually soldiers. I actually know like a few people who are in the army and they don't like this movie, so yeah. Kind of controversial. But most like average movie goers really think it's a good movie. Then we do have our documentary movies. We have Selma. Didn't get any Oscar love. I think it got like a few Oscar nominations. It got a nominee for Best Picture, as you can see there. But it didn't win anything. But man, David Oyelowo. Is that how you say his name? David Oyelowo. Yeah, man, he was so good. I don't know how that movie got so little love. The King's Speech in my top 10 movies of all time. This movie... One of the best movies, British movies of recent years. This movie is superb. And Colin Firth asserts his position as one of the great British actors in this movie. Is, in this movie. Gandhi, just, you have to own this movie. If you Blu-ray collection. There's just those select Blu-rays, um, like Forrest Gump, that you have to own in your Blu-ray collection. Um, well, you don't have to, but it's, it's probably likely that you should have them. Then Sully, really, really good Clint movie. I, I'm loving Clint's movies still, man. Forrest Gump, laugh is like a box of chocolates. I, I don't love this movie. <laughs> I, know, I, I know I should. I think it's overrated. But I still think Tom Hanks is superb in it. Lincoln with Daniel Day-Lewis. I still need to get, um, what's this called? That new movie, Phantom Thread, um, that he was in. 
Now we do have our thrillers. Um, Clint Eastwood in Gran Torino. Fargo, the movie. Tinker Taylor, Soldier Spy. And just look at that cast. Colin Firth, Tom Hardy, John Hurt, Toby Jones, Mark Strong, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Kieran Hinsey. Kieran Hinsey, that's how you say it. At end of Watch, one of my favourite Gillenhorn movies. Um, this movie is superb. So eye-opening to the whole drug cartel problem. I thought it was absolutely amazing. The drug, the whole drug cartel thing is just bullshit, man. It's so horrible. Don't get, get into drugs. If you're a young kid watching this video, man, it's the most stupid thing to get involved in. Anyway, Source Girl, Jake Gyllenhaal, pretty solid thriller. Pretty stupid, though, but it's pretty good. Argo, great movie. The Social Network. Yeah, I was really surprised by this. I actually really loved it. Um, Baby Driver. Oh, my God, this movie is so good. And the uh, main soundtrack to it is just... Oh my god, I can't remember how it goes, but man, I've got I've got the vinyl of it. It's really good. Whiplash. Oh, Miles Tyler in this movie. Miles Teller and J.K. Simmons. Jesus Christ, J.K. Simmons was good in this movie. This is the first time I see J.K. Simmons in his best. But one thing I don't like him as is Commissioner Gordon. I think he's kind of shit, Commissioner Gordon. But I mean, Gary Oldman will always be Commissioner Gordon. Same as Chris and Doll always be Batman and Heath Ledger will always be the Joker. Um, Moneyball, really good, but um, really good baseball movie. Zodiac, Prisoners, one of my favorite Jake and movies. And you really get to see how good actually good actor Hugh Jackman is as well. He's a great actor. Bridge of Spies, one of my favorite Spielberg movies. A superb movie. The Green Mile, Chrome Diamond Edition thing. My hands. We have The Counselor. Yeah, recently watched this one and. This movie was terrible, like, look at the cast, Michael Fassbender, P Penelope C C Cruz, Cameron Diaz, Javier Bardem, and Brad Pitt, and Ridley Scott just, was it arrogance, I don't know, but this movie was just plain terrible, like, how was it so bad? This movie should be great, like, it just wasn't good. Spotlight, no way did this movie deserve Best Picture, man, it wasn't that good, it was pretty good, I feel like 4 out of 5. Not best picture worthy. All the money in the world, pretty good from Ridley Scott. Not actually watched it yet, but I've heard it's good. Sorry, um, Argo. Again, I've got like three copies of Argo. End to be. Sorry if the camera's really shaky. Jungle with Daniel Radcliffe. I've never been a D Daniel Radcliffe fan. I liked him in Imperium. That was a pretty good movie. Adrift from last year. Really, really great movie. One of my favorites of last year. Flight with Denzel Washington. The Imposter. Um, absolutely superb documentary, really, really good. Memento from Christopher Nolan. Brothers, another Jake Gyllenhaal movie. I am a huge Jake Gyllenhaal fan. He's my favourite actor at the moment. Rendition, pretty solid Jake Gyllenhaal movie. And Enemy, which is, I don't have any interest in this. I've not watched it. But I just want it in the collection because it's Jake Gyllenhaal. There will be Blood with Daniel Day Lewis. The Big Short and look at that cast: Christian Bell, Steve Carroll. Ryan Gosling and Brad Pitt, so such a good, great cast. The Departed, Foxcatcher, Cold in July. I picked one up in Poundland like a year ago, and man, it's a great movie. Can't believe I got that with a slip in Poundland for a pound. That was back when they were a pound. Contagion, really, really good movie. And The Place Beyond the Pines with Ryan Gosling and Bradley Cooper. Two more thrillers, then we'll get into the dramas. I'm really low down, so I'm basically like lying down here so so if my voice sounds a bit weird searching oh god it's quite comfortable uh second to last thriller 71 reason pickup and runaway jury oh my god this is so uncomfortable um uh, <laughs> adjustment bureau still not watch this but i do own the steel book of that these are dramas by the way if i've not already said that um life of pi Lenticular, Steelbook, and then The Walk, which is not even, I don't like it. First Reformed, with Ethan Hawke, Leave No Trace, um, a few recent pickups there. Four Angry Men on Criterion, Leon the Professional, 12 Years a Slave, Wes Anderson's Grand Budapest Hotel, really good movie. Lion, oh my god. Oh. Jesus Christ, the things I go through to make videos. <laughs> um, the Tree of Life. Birdman, what a fucking weird movie. 
I don't like you. Um, loving Vincent. Another Michael Keaton, the founder. The founder of McDonald's. What's killed our world. What's made young kids die of obesity and yeah, just fucking McDonald's. I hate fast food. I don't know if I've ranted about it, probably I've done it if I have, but I fucking, I hate fast food so much, it's just, I, I can't eat it, it stinks. The Silence Room with Brie Larson, um, I'm not a huge Brie Larson fan, but it's a pretty, very, very good movie actually. I, Tonya, the 14 our stars, and Soel Gort, man, he's, 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 he's gonna do bits, man, he's a really great actor. On the waterfront. I'm not on the water. What am I going on? Oh yeah, no, I am. Sorry, well, I'm very mixed up. American Hustle. A lot of these are Poundland pickups. I don't know if you can tell, but a lot of these are Poundland pickups. Um, I have my Macbeth, the recent one with Michael Fassbender, an absolute masterpiece. Definitely the best Mac Macbeth film. I like it more than the Pol Polanski one. Um, Lady in the Van. Boyhood. Theory of Everything, um, The Descendants, A Hollow Ground for the King, My Week with Marilyn, Field of Dreams, which is actually my favourite movie of all time, um, beautiful, beautiful filmmaking, and Kevin Costner is amazing in that, and Juno, Brokeback Mountain, with the great Heath Ledger, Brickman. Great, great guy, and what an actor. Edward Scissorhands, Johnny Depp, Tim Burton. Such a mastermind. Finally, for our drama section, we do have Pulp Fiction. We have our gangster movies, The Godfather. Um, such a beautiful box set. The one, two, and three. And you also do get supplements in there as well, which is really nice. And also, A Most Violent Year with Oscar Isaac and Jessica Chastain. Very, very good movie. And for a pounder, I got that about a year ago. It's so good. If if your pounder has this a most violent year, definitely pick it up and definitely give it a watch. Because it's really, really good. It's uh similar to The Godfather in the sense that it's a gangster movie. And God uh, I'm gonna go ahead to put that to the side. Mission Impossible 1. Now I do about action movies, if you haven't noticed. Um Mission Impossible 2, Mission Impossible 3, Steelbooks. Guys, protocol. Oh, I hate the CX thing. They're so I find them because I buy my nails, so quite hard to get off. Rogue Nation with the lenticular magnets and Fallout, my favorite action movie of all time, and my favorite Mission Impossible movie and my favorite movie of last year. You guys are gonna hate on me because I always see all the Terminator Two fans and you diehard fans, but that's my favorite action movie of all time. Cliffhanger, Stallone. Really? That was my Stallone impression. Don't know what that was. Taken to, I will find you and I will kill you. The only the first one's good. I need to get it on Blu-ray. Unknown, actually, really good. Like when I went into it, I thought it was like one of those stupid movies from from Liam Neeson, but yeah, it's really good. Um, non-stop. Karate Kid. Pick it up. Take it down. So that was the scene in like Karate Kid. One of my favorite scenes was in Jackie Chan was saying to um the karate kid pick it up hang it up like oh it's just such a great scene it really just inspires me this movie and it's one of my favorite action movies as well and then we do have woody harrison in rampart which is a very 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 so coming with the action movies we do have drive with ryan gosling and then only god forgives with ryan gosling and then hello high water with chris pine Vaughn Collection, that actually includes Jeremy Renner and the new Jason Bourne movie and the original the original movies. John Wick Chapter 2, need to get one. Uh, I need to watch those ahead of um, Parody Beam, if that's how you say it. The Equalizer of Denzel, one of my favourite actors. The Guest. Now our Westerns, we have The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, probably my favourite Western and one of my favourite movies of all time. Hostiles of Christian Bell and Batman. Then a few Tarantinos, we have Django Unchained. Um, the Hateful Eight, Dallas Buyers Club with Matthew McConaughey. Um, obviously, he was in Interstellar as well. One of my favorite movies of all time. Slow West, and then our boxing movies: Southpaw with Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm still yet to watch that. Um, Warrior with Tom Hardy, and The Fighter with.
not Hugo Christian Bell. I'm not Wahlberg. Okay. My impressions are pretty shit, guys. I don't know if you guys have realised, but I cannot just do impressions. And one of my favourite movies of 2014, I believe this was one, no, 2013, was Rush. Um, that lovely lenticular. And this movie actually really got me into racing as well. And of this movie, I was actually started to watch a bit of racing and really enjoyed it. And then uh, Clint Eastwood in Viticus with Matt Damon and Morgan Freeman, the voice of God. Anyway, let's uh, get into our comedies, Home Alone. By far my favourite Christmas movie and one of my favourite movies of all time. And then these are in the wrong order. 22 Jump Street. Um, I only watched 21 and I enjoyed it. 21 Jump Street Steelbook. They're quite nice steelbooks as well, those. Um, the Big Lebowski with John Goodman and Jeff Bridges. Then the nice guys of Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe. I'm really surprised by that movie, actually really enjoyed it. Kill Bill Volume 1, Tarantino. And then Kill Bill Volume 2. And then kick ass. I'm kick ass. Squid in the whale on criteria and recently picked that one up. Um, the Wolf of Wall Street. Um, not watched that one yet. Really need to watch it. Um, Logan Lucky. Um, one of my favorite movies of 2017. Great movie. In Between is movie. Um, just a classic. The In Between is a classic. If, if you live in the UK, pretty sure everyone's had the In Between. It's one of the best. Uh, Comedy shows and movies of all time, in my opinion. And zombie movies, Train to Busan, my favourite zombie movie. Um, World War Z, man, I didn't really love this movie. It's, it's kind of fun to just watch, just to uh, relax, I guess. God of War the Gifts, and The Walking Dead. Now, my other horror movies, we do have Halloween on Steelbook. Still have to watch this. Um, yeah, I really need to watch that. Cloverfield, the first one, then 10 Cloverfield Lane. Need to pick up Cloverfield Paradox, but I've actually heard really bad things about Cloverfield Paradox. Get Out, my favourite horror film of all time. Signs, we do have The Sixth Sense. Unbreakable, this is kind of my M. Night Shyamalan section. And then Split, actually my favourite M. Night Shyamalan movie. Such a great movie. Pixar Short Films Collection, Volume 1. And then Volume 2, need to get, get Volume 3. Um, I'll probably pick that one up uh, when it's released in the UK. And we have all our Pixar movies. I have tried to get every Pixar movie on Steelbook, but I do not own them all on Steelbook yet. Toy Story 1, leader in order of when they were made, by the way. A Bug's Life, Toy Story 2, my f probably my least favourite Toy Story movie, but uh still love it. Monster Inc., one of my favourite Pixar movies. Finding Nemo, recently picked that Steelbook up. Incredible was my favourite Pixar movie. Cars, oh, such childhood memories from Cars. Ratatouille. Um, Wally. This is my favourite Steelbook of all the Pixar ones, and it's a great movie as well. Um, Up or Oben. These are all the Germans. I don't know if I've already said that, but yeah, the German titles. Um, I actually think it's quite cool having German Steelbooks. Toy Story 3, my favourite Toy Story movie. I actually cried at the end of that movie in the cinema. Cars 2, the only Pixar movie I can actually say I really don't like a terrible movie but like, when i watched it in cinemas i enjoyed it monster university in my opinion just as good as monster inc very uncommon opinion i just love this movie um then finding dory that was in the time these both were in the, in the time um when they don't do spines and i really think it's stupid i don't know why they decided to do that then cars three and Incredibles 2. Um, I'm going to get the steelbook of this one, but uh, I just don't have it now. Then a Disney steelbook, Frank and Weenie, one of my favourite Disney movies. And then all our O-rings for Disney. So we do have Pinocchio. I don't want these to fall. Um, Dumbo. Bambi. The Jungle Book. Rescuers. And Beauty and the Beast. And my favourite of all of these actually being Pinocchio and Dumbo. They're two of my favourite Disney movies of all time. I've got my hand up here because it's quite, actually quite high up. So we do have Aladdin, another great Disney movie. Then we have a few modern Disney movies. Bolt. Zootropolis or Zootopia. And then Wreck-It Ralph. I need to get the slip for that one. And then a live action. Jungle Book. Really don't like all this live action stuff Disney are doing. Um, just remaking everything basically into live action. And milking as much money they can as from the classics that they've made. Yeah, really don't like it. Then just a few other animations from other studios. We have Paddington 2, 
don't know why that's ahead of one, but uh, yeah, this is one of my in my top five animated movies of all time. Beautiful movie. Oh Jesus Christ, they're gonna fall. Um, Huntington One, um, another great movie, but I uh, just didn't wasn't as good as number two. The Ardman movies. Oh no, this is an Ardman. Sorry, Fantastic Mr. Fox. And the Ardman movies now. Pirates in an adventure with scientists. Such a fun movie. And Arthur Christmas, really good. Then Kung Fu Panda One and Two. Need to get number three. Um, but really love Kung Fu Panda. Then Minions. That lens it up. Rio 2, you need to get Rio 1. Lego Batman, my favourite Lego movie, but I don't have any of the others, I'm really bad. And in two documentaries, we do have Blue Planet 2 on 4K, my favourite programme about the Earth ever, David Attenborough, oh, it's, and the music as well, but Hanzo is beautiful. And then Planet Earth 2 as well, but I do enjoy ones more set in the like sea rather than land, but I still love the uh, ones set in the land. So guys, that's my Blu-ray collection. All of those, all of those, and right over here, all of those. So guys, that's my Blu-ray collection video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and a subscribe. And guys, Marvel collection will be coming up very, very soon. And guys, I'll see you in the next video.